options for pregnant women? Oh yeah, well, <clears throat> again, we have a situation where I would modify his recommendations slightly depending upon what the woman's bowel tolerance was. But I, I think, as a matter of fact, the first trimester he would give them, uh, what, five grams a day, the second trimester, 10, and the third, 15, or something like that. Uh, and uh, it, it, it's sort of interesting that uh, when I first heard about this vitamin C thing and began to experience myself, uh, in Medical Tribune, uh, they, there was an editor named Sackler who was a great medical philosopher, and uh, he, was, he was very interested in all this stuff. And he published some uh, letters about Clenner. And uh, so I called uh, Reedsville, North Carolina, the, the operator there, and uh, asked for the local hospital. It turned out it was the Bonnie Dune Hospital. And I asked to talk to the head nurse there. And when I got her on the phone, she, and I said, well, who is this Fred Clenner? And uh, she said, well, he's a great doctor. Uh, and, and she says, you must be calling about this vitamin C thing. And I said, yes. And she says, well, it works. And I said, well, do the other doctors do it? And she said, no. And I said, well, why not? And she says, well, I don't know, but it works. And then she proceeded to tell, tell me about the vitamin C babies, how, how healthy they were and how they didn't cry very much. And they would raise their heads up and look around as the other kids were ranting and raving. And uh, as I say, in general, how healthy we were. And, and Clenner didn't do episiotomies that the women didn't tear when they had birth. I mean, you, you figure, uh, we've been the product of millions of years of evolution. Uh, why should the bottom of a woman tear when she's giving natural childbirth? Well, the fact of the matter is, it's because of all this nutritional deficiency. Uh, the, the tissues break down, they get stretch marks and all this, and uh, zinc deficiencies and vitamin C deficiencies all have to do with these breakdowns of tissues. Well, when you give the person a good amount of all these nutrients, they don't tear. They just strictly stretch and have a normal childbirth and everything's okay. So anyway, that, that was my original uh, introduction into ascorbate is hearing about Clinter's work.